stopped in at uh, Adrenaline Arms today and picked up this Crimson Trace CTS 25 red dot. I'm going to do a little quick unboxing and I'm going to get this mounted on one of my AR pistols. Instruction manual. Crimson Trace decal. Clean cloth. And the dot. The buttons on the top. The rubber lens cover. Okay, the Crimson Trace has a 4 MOA dot, seven levels of brightness, has the removable riser. The finish on this is anodized, and it does run on the CR 2032 battery. Okay, I got it on the level 7 on the brightness. And it's bright. It's not the brightest I've seen. But the dot is very crisp. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera. But looking at it, it's a very clean dot. You've seen this pistol before in my... Uh couple other videos I have this is a this was a budget build that I put together we did a review with the Viridian 1x35 Eon red dot on this on this particular pistol that ended up getting moved over to my high point 10 millimeter carbine so I wanted to stick with the whole budget thing with this pistol so this is why we went with this crimson trace because it's a $70 red dot we're going to get this zeroed in, fire a few shots through it, and see what the brightness is like out here in the daylight and on a white target, on a brown cardboard target. Let's get started. We're just going to use some cheap Tula steel case 55 grain FMJs to get it on paper. Okay, first round, center of the target. Okay, there's our first shot. About three and a half inches low, three quarters of an inch to the to the left. So we'll move it to the right and we'll move it up. Okay, there's our second shot. It's right on the money. One thing worth mentioning about Crimson Trace, on your uh, windage and elevation adjustments, there's no marks. So counterclockwise is up and right. And your clockwise is down and left. Um, there's nothing in the manual about it. I couldn't find anything on the Crimson Trace website either. So, But there's a bunch of forums to tell you how to make the adjustments. This is my third Crimson Trace red dot. I have a couple different models. I'm not sure what the model numbers are on right now. But I got a couple on a, a couple 12 gauge shotguns. So just something to keep in mind on the elevation. You can either refer back to this video or get on a forum if you decide to go with this red dot. We're out here for day two of the uh, Crimson Trace CTS 25 test and review. If you're wondering what this water bottle's for, uh, I am going to beat this red dot a little bit with this water bottle. And then later we're going to pour some water on it see if it's waterproof. I will admit, I straight stole this water bottle test from 704 Tactical. He's one of my favorite YouTubers that I watch. The only difference between him and I is he's probably getting his red dots for free and I'm paying for them. So I'm not going to beat it as bad as he does. But we'll smack it around a little bit and make sure it holds zero. So we're going to fire five rounds through it. And then we're going to smack it around with the water bottle. And we're going to fire another five rounds through it make sure it doesn't lose zero. And... 
Then we're gonna pour some water on it, make sure it's watertight. Like always, we got a target set at 25 yards. We've got five 60 grain Hornady V-Max reloads loaded up in the Magpul P-Mag. We're gonna fire five rounds, center of the target, and we're gonna smack this dot around a little bit with a water bottle and fire five more rounds, make sure it holds zero. Okay, let's get out and check out the target. There's the five shot group. That first five shot group was a little high, so I dialed the red dot down. We're gonna fire five rounds at that top left target. And then we'll do the water bottle test and see how it does. Let's get down and check that group. Okay, that's better. Okay, I'm probably going to regret doing this. Well, we got some water on it. The dot's still on, so a little bit of water on the lens. I'm making it a little hard to see, but I'm not going to wipe it off because we're getting ready to pour water on it. So, All right, five-shot group, top right-hand corner of the target. See if this thing holds zero. I can already tell it did perfect. Um, let's go down, check the target, see how it did. There's the target before we did the water bottle test. There's our target after we did the water bottle test. So we didn't lose zero at all after that. Okay, here we go with the water. Well, after pouring the water on it, the dot is still on. We're gonna go ahead and fire five rounds at the bottom left target. Make sure it held zero. Let's get down and check the group. Well, there's the group after beating it with the water bottle and pouring water on it. Seems to get better each, each time we abuse that dot a little bit more. This is what I was talking about on day one of the video about no adjustment marks whatsoever on this. I think we're in focus enough you can see it. So there's no indication of up or down or which direction to go. So I just wanted to show that because I did bring that up earlier in the video. My final conclusion on this dot is there's really nothing bad to say about it. It's, yeah, I poured water all over it, held up just fine. We beat it with a water bottle, it held up just fine. Never lost zero. It's really bright out here today. I know on the, the first the first day of testing this, it was uh, it was kind of overcast, so it's it's real bright and sunny out here today. It's hot and. Uh, I'm not having any problem at all seeing that dot on that white target. So, um, brightness is great. The adjustments are dead on. So, I mean, it's $70. And I, I like it enough that I'd actually probably shoot it in a competition. So, there you have it. I mean, really, the only complaint I had on it was I wish they had the adjustments marked on the turrets, but... For $70, if that's the only thing that I got to complain about with this thing, that's pretty good. So, I definitely recommend it. I think it make a good dot for just plinking around at the range or if you want to shoot a competition with it. One thing I want to throw in is don't forget that we're doing the Olight giveaway right now. I want to thank everybody who's subscribed to the channel. Over the last week and a half, we've gained over 100 new subscribers. So, that's awesome. It's real easy to enter. There's a video on my page. It's called the Olight Warrior Mini 2 Giveaway. Go to that video, like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel, and you're automatically entered. As soon as we hit 500 subscribers, then we're going to be giving away three Olight Warrior Mini 2s. Well, I hope you like this review of the Crimson Trace CTS-25. Please like the video, 
subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.